Hello everybody, welcome back to my studio. My name is Natifa and I'm thrilled that you guys are joining me today. Thank you for popping in. So today I'm really excited to talk to you guys about something um, about our magic keeping and we're talking about the anatomy of magic mail. Now, before we started getting deep into like this whole journey of us being magic keepers and keeping the magic and really sending things out into the world to encourage people, I thought it'd be really important important for us to talk about the anatomy of it. What actually makes up magic mail? And so that's what we're going to talk about today. And if, if that's something you're really interested in learning more about, let's dive in. So as I told you guys before, magic keeping is this idea of intentionally encouraging and inspiring people through beauty, art, and moments of delight. So there are things that you want to include in your mail, you wanna include in the things you're sending to people, things you make for them, things you just sort of like want to give them that's going to encourage and inspire them or just make them really happy in the moment. And when you start thinking about magic mail, that's what that is. All those components, all those things together make up a piece of magic mail. Now, if you're somebody who like pen pals or does like mailings out to people on a regular basis, you may also call it happy mail. But because I like to be extra, I'm calling it magic mail because we're magic keepers. And so our mail, it's magic mail. So since we're calling our piece of, um, of mail magic mail, I wanted to give you kind of a definition of what it actually means. And so um, it means uh, magic mail is a piece of intentionally packaged snail mail that's meant to encourage and inspire someone with beauty, art and moments of delight. So honestly, it, if you're somebody who, you know, pen pals or if you're somebody who um, writes letters or send out reading cards, all of those things are magic mail. It's the same thing. You can call it happy mail, whatever. But because we're in these parts where we magic keep, we call ours magic mail and that's what that is. So anything that is sent through the mail, something that is just really intentional about specifically to encourage and inspire people. Now, this is not necessarily about just telling somebody about your life and what's going on. You can do that if you want to, but this piece of mail is meant to encourage and inspire people. It's meant to uplift people and make them feel um, really good about themselves or really good about a situation they're dealing with. So if somebody's down or somebody is having a really rough time, this, this is intentioned to help that person get through that thing, okay? All right, so the first part of the magic mail is our courier. Our courier, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I call all of my envelopes couriers because I truly believe that each and every single one of those envelopes are messengers. They are, they are sent out into the world and they carry things. They're like, I, I kind of envision them as like people on those like bicycles. You know, you know those like little couriers in like New York, the messengers or the couriers, what they're called, where they're like, on their bikes, weaving in and out of traffic, trying to get to their destination to deliver something to somebody. So I really think of all of our envelopes as that, because if you really think about it, each envelope, whether it's a bill, whether it's a, a greeting card or whatever is included or inside of that envelope is sending a message to somebody. And so it is literally carrying our message across the snail mail world, waves or whatever you wanna call it. And so I really think of them, I really think of them as like messengers or like couriers. And so I call all of my envelopes couriers. And if you follow me on Instagram again, I have them all listed out by number because I make a lot of them. And so the first piece of that, um, the anatomy of a magic mail is a courier. Now the courier is an envelope used to send magic mail, usually handmade, but not required. So the things inside of our magic mail um, include a variety of things. And, and some of those things are handmade. The envelope can be handmade. It's not required for it to be handmade, but if it's handmade, it's definitely magic mail, okay? All right, the second thing that's included in our magic mail is a letter. Now, our letter is a message sent to someone um, with words of encouragement, wisdom, wisdom, inspiration, and et cetera. So if you are, if you think about it, if it's like a greeting card or if it's a note you wrote to somebody or if it's like a, if it's like a little letter, but it has like a quote written on it, all of those things are messages you're sending to people and all of those things I consider a letter. So if you um, include that into your, your courier, that is magic mail, okay? So you have your courier, you have your letter. 
The third thing that, that is included inside of our magic mail is our souvenirs. And I think this is where the fun really, really starts. Obviously making an envelope is a lot of fun too, but now you really get to include things that is going to, to really start to kind of like make people feel like, ooh, like that little like butterfly in their stomach. That's where we're starting to get into right now. So a souvenir is something that is kept to remember a person, a place, an event, um, it can be a song list, photos, trinkets, press flowers, postcards. Um, but the, the most important part of that is that it has to be tied to a memory. So let's say you're making a magic mail and you wanted to send this, you want to send it to somebody, your friend or whatever, and you went to a concert recently and you have the ticket stuff from that. You can send that to, to your friend and say, and just tell them about it. Like, oh, you know, this is from you know, a concert that I went to and maybe it reminded you of them or whatever, or you wish they were there with you, but it's, it's tied to a memory. So you can buy your souvenirs. You don't have to like make it. And, and most souvenirs are not necessarily handmade. They're like purchased. So like a postcard, if you went somewhere, or if you took a photo of somewhere on like your phone and you printed it out, that is um, a souvenir. And I think souvenirs are just really um, amazing because they, they just add something extra to your magic mail. Okay, so we have our courier, which is our envelopes, our letters, and we have our souvenirs. And then we have our artifacts. Now artifacts are something handmade by an actual human being, okay? Some, um, something kind of bespoke. So something, something that's really like, you can't find it everywhere. It's like one of a kind, it's unique. It's, it's just really like um, very heartfelt when the, when the person made it for you, okay? It could be art handmade art. It could be anything like wax seals that you made um, or, or handwritten quotes. So artifacts are like when you start making like little, you know, collages for your, your, your friend or whoever you're sending your magic mail to, when you start, you know, um, even like painting like paper with like watercolors or anything you make with your hands. If you like stitch or if you make um, little like um, if you paint and you send a little like, you know, portrait or something you painted or just anything that you made with your hand, those are artifacts. Okay. Because it's made by a human being and you can tuck that into your envelope and send it on its way. And then the last part of the uh, magic mail is your, includes your charms and your trinkets. Now, Charms and trinkets, I think is really where we kind of get into the moments of delight because these are the things that you're going to add to your mail to just make that person who receives it like, oh my gosh, or like just kind of gasp with like delight. And so those include things like confetti, especially confetti. Just imagine when you're like, when you, when you send something, something to somebody and they open it and they, they, you know, pull it out of the car, of the envelope and confetti just falls out. And it's like, oh my gosh, like that little like delight that they feel, that's what a trinket or a charm is. And so things like that, like little stickers or um, what else? Just little things that, you know, little trinkets, like little charms you may buy from the store. Um, just things that are like little, but just a little spark to kind of add into your, into your, your magic meal. There could be little pins, just something that's going to make somebody just smile um, with a moment of delight. Those are your charms and your trinkets. And so that's it. And so you have your, you have your courier, which is your envelope. You have your letter, you have your souvenirs, you have your artifacts and you have your trinkets and your charms. And all those things I think are amazing. You know, even souvenirs could be like an ephemera piece, like little pieces of ephemera. You don't have to like, you know, um, if the ephemera is like old and it reminds you of something that can be considered a, a piece of um, a souvenir as well too. So I'm going to go, I'm going to dive deeper into all of this, like over the course of the next few videos, but I wanted to kind of give you a foundation of what magic mail um, looks like or what it is. Um, and so as we start getting deeper into like actually making things more and more and putting things into the envelope and sending them out to people, you were familiar with the terms or whatever. And so, um, yeah, if you have any questions about anything, let me know, but I'm very excited about this because how cool, right? Just very, very cool. So again, this is about the anatomy of a magic mail. And if you're a magic keeper, I'm sure you know about all of these things. So leave me some um, comments, leave me some questions in the comments or leave me a comment about things that you include in your magic mail when you send them out to people. And if you don't think about why you don't do that or things that you may want to add into your, into your magic mail. Um, and we'll chat about it. Okay. So thank you for watching. Um, again, my name is Natifa and your resident magic keeper here. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.